Welcome back everyone to the Town Hall 14 Yesterday series where you can see we got a lot of loot, we got a lot of dark currency, let's set as well as gold. So now let us finish off one of the heavy defenses which is the expo. You can see we have two expos uh, going down and we're going to have another one going down today. So let's do it right now. 17.4 million gold in 3, 2, 1, bam, and our expos are now done. So the next one for the agenda is going to be the Tezzas. And we're going to work on the Tezzas next. And then we work on to the air defenses. But our, we could work on the air defenses now. But after actually starting off. Yeah, let's start off with the, with the Tezzas and then the Expo. So the Tezzas, sorry. We do the Tezzas, then the air defenses. Normally, I would literally do the Tezzas before I do the Expo. It's not really like, because I do like the Tezzas as a, a defense. And they can, they can do a lot of damage, especially when they're... Um, in the Tesla farm. So what we're gonna do now with the elixir we do have is just do the same thing, same old thing. Walls. And that's what we're gonna keep doing. Gotta keep doing doing walls with this elixir. Uh for right now till the till the the laboratory actually opens up which we next we'll probably do the barbarians or the baby dragons. So now with the Barbarian King having twelve hours and fifty two minutes by the time we're recording this video, he'll be done. What I will do with him is we will form a dark lights of him and drop him down. Um, I was going to buy a hammer of heroes, but I think it's going to be more beneficial for me to actually because I have a book. If I didn't have a book, I would just use the hammer heroes. I think it would be more beneficial for me to just form a dark lights and then use the book just because we have it, and then use the my gray metal, my metals for something in laboratory. Which will which will be dark lit of base because we only have a couple dark lit of troops left. I believe the apprentice world only has one level at town hall 14 and um, maxes out at town hall 15. I believe I can't remember. Um, I have to check my account. I don't I don't have him upgraded, <laughs> but I still use him some some reason. Um, so why will you use the hammers of fighting a lab just to like finish off like dark lit troops because there's a lot of dark lit of 20,000 dark lit of are dark lit of surfing and just knock that out with a hammer. I'll do that any day of the week. So I'm just going to knock out some dark lizard troops as well. Um, even if it's just one. Because me being with the maximum heroes already. And just going to dump love dark lizard in the laboratory. The main dump dark lizard ways is going to be the petals. And, and we'll do the petals again. So what we're going to do now. We're going to do the unicorn. Go to level 4. Level 5. Um, 5 days. 3 to 1. Bam. So you can see it's getting expensive. It's getting expensive and it's going to take a while so that's like the main dark list dump that i want to be doing is the pals because every time i get dark lit and i can't have enough to upgrade a pet it's going there most of the time i'm going to try not to add it into the lab as much as possible so we have our army still doing busy lot i've been doing different um attacks throughout legends league um so that's something i can definitely practice on oh we got a 14 here and hmm, either go for a scatter and multi with a queen or get the town hall and CC. Interesting, I can still use my hero to get the enemy queen, so we might as well go for town hall just to cut the core a little bit and set a funnel. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to try to take the town hall and I'll see. Oh, oh, ice hound. I haven't seen. Someone ran the Ice Hound in so long. So we're going to try to take out the Town Hall here. There you go. I, I invest the Ice Hound so I don't have to worry about me my troops being frozen. So then um, popping the Ice Hound isn't bad. I just don't want it to pop the Ice Hound while they're trying to like take out main defenses. So you can see now Ice Hound has like no health. And I can just use my queen to help take out the ice hound. So that's a, a little trick you guys can use, especially if the, even a hound, a regular hound will be CC too. You you try not to you try to visit so that your your main troops, like your blizzard or super archer blimp, don't have to like tackle it right away. Because you're looking for value. If you don't get the value you want, you, you're gonna feel a little bit short-handed from the spells that you do end up using. So I'm going to use the wall breaker to break open a compromise for the from it um ice column as well as my queen. I do have my RC which I will supplement with my 
um, my Lalo. So now I'm going to drop an Ed Hunter. If the Queen targets, there you go. There you go. There you go. That is nice. That's really nice. I'm going to Lalo on top of the Eagle. Just because. Because if I can keep my Queen going along, uh, she probably will die because it is a ground bow. Yeah, it's a ground bow. So she will die. I can supplement my, my Lalo with my RC. I'm going to freeze here. Freeze that, that bow. Because that freeze is super, so I got that super is being a little bit of a pain. I'm going to freeze it again. Because, yeah, it, it's being a little bit of pain. Not going to lie. I'm going to pop the ground one's ability now just to save them from that melt a little bit. We'll take one more push, I believe. Um, nope, nope. Yeah, they pushed me a little bit, not too far back. Uh, I can freeze the other scatter. And I can freeze the back end scatter with the air defense this time. So you can see just we changed our plan. Because the plan was to lalo where we are ending off but you can see finishing off um going on top of the eagle was a little was a better play and we come up with a triple so you can see changing on the fly and um, we probably will time kill this i think um no we actually have time but you can see i being fast in your toes just by like changing your plan mid attack because my plan was to lalo down and around but we wanted to really hit the eagle but i was trying to save my queen Probably could have frozen the ground bow, but supplementing the RC with the Lalo, we still get a triple. Yes, it was 14 14. I can literally do the same against a 15 once I, I get nice value with my Blizzard, get nice value with my hero because I'm gonna have the, que the queen right now. But when I have the, have the king and I can get decent value with the king um, and queen on the top 15, I can triple uh, a 15 with the Blizzard Lalo. It's that strong and practicing it, no matter how strong it is. You still gotta practice it. So gotta practice it. But that's it for me. Hope you guys did enjoy it. We got one more builder. Um we got one more builder. And the king's builder is gonna be free when I from the dark lit, so I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna drop all my builders um right now. So might as well try to keep the traps going. I think it is level three that they're max. I can't remember. Level four. So might as well just do a trap. We got a lot of traps to do. As you can see, you got a lot of troops. Eight, that's level eight, and you can see they're expensive. They're getting expensive, so we're just gonna do the second amendment. Three days, and it works out pretty nicely too. That's it for me, guys. When I farm some some loot, when the king builder is up, I'm gonna try to find all the from all the dark Alexa and use this hero, a book of heroes, on it. But that's it for me. I will see you guys next time.